Hey guys, good morning. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. I am having a good morning. Uh, well, evening actually, because it is Sunday. And as I told you yesterday, I'm going to try to do a couple videos today just because I know that, you know, when we get back from the hospital tomorrow, it's going to be kind of just crazy. <laughs> so I figured we would work more on the construction of the Thanksgiving book. So we've already got the actual book constructed itself. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the, we're going to create the pages, not decorate them, but we're going to create the pages. And then we're also going to create the binding system in here. So uh, the first thing that you're going to need is a scoring board and some scissors. <laughs> So I put this out, so maybe the camera might pick that up instead of my hands doing who knows what throughout the video um, for my thumbnail, because I don't do any of that mess. I just click the video and go with that. All right, so these are some mats that we made um, to, or these are some mats that I made um, to go onto the pages. Now, this is 20 and you map this using number 30, but I haven't done that yet. So these are the page mats, okay? And we're gonna just kind of set that inside the book over there. Um, this is going to be our, um, hold on, I need to grab my glue. This is going to be our, uh, what's it called, binding. Nope, I don't want that one. I meant to grab my score tape before I started, and of course I didn't, but it's right underneath my desk. It's not a big deal. Um, so we're going to use score tape. Um, we're going to use score tape and Fabri-Tac a lot throughout this whole book, and also double-sided tape. Now, all this is, is it's a piece of paper that is scored every half an inch, okay? I'm actually going to take off one of these pieces because I have too many, um, but I'll do that in a minute. So what you're going to do is you're just going to fold this on every single half inch that you just scored. Okay. Now I pre-scored this because it's literally just, it's scoring every half an inch. This is part of her, um, okay, let me move this. This is part of her digital, but you can do this too. You can do this with any book that you want to use. It is a super, super simple binding system. Um, it's called the Hidden Hinge. I believe Kathy Ortega has uh, patented that, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which I could be, you know, I don't know everything, but I believe that this is her patent, the Hidden Hinge. And you're just folding every half an inch. Okay. Just like you would if like you're making a fan or something. You know, like a fan or a flower, something like that. Now I don't think I'm gonna need that, so I'm just gonna leave that there. So I have four pages. I actually don't need uh, a lot of these, but oh wait, I do need a lot of these. I lied. So we're going to unfold this. I forgot about the gusset part. So this is your first page. And then you fold up like this. So this is going to be a gusset. And then you fold this up like this. And this is going to be another page that you put something on top of. It'll make sense in a little while. I promise. Uh, if you've never seen this before, it will make sense. I promise you. So I'm just using my fingernails to score this. All right. So this is going to create another little gusset right here. I'm going to fold this up like that. And that's another page. So we've got one page, two page, three page. We need one more page. So we need one more gusset here. And then this is going to be our page. So we've got 
one page, two page, three page, four page. So we can cut this straight off. We don't need this at all. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is everywhere that it's joined together right here, I'm going to put a bead of score tape right there. And then I'm going to fold it together so it stays together. So you see how it's open like that? I want it to stay shut. So I'm going to put a bead of score tape down the middle of this. And I'm just going to use half an inch. This part isn't vitally important. It just makes it a lot easier for you to mess with the hinge system. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here. Okay. All right. Now we're going to push that down, make sure it's nice and burnished good. Okay, I'm going to pick that up, hopefully, possibly, and then push it back down. Okay, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Shoop. All right, same thing, and voila. Now we have our four pages. Now this is going to go in here, like that. But this is going to go on something else that's right here. Because I don't know if you guys realize this, but there's a big opening right here. <laughs> it needs to be covered up. Now, a couple things you could do with that. You could just put another sheet of this paper right here and just cover up that little gap, which could be fine. Um, I'm not sure if that's something I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet, but we have our binding system. Okay. The next thing that you want to do is you want to cut, you want to taper all of these edges because it's going to make putting your pages on so much easier and if you've put tape down make sure that you're aware that it's going to take a little bit of oomph to get through that paper especially after cutting the first page or the first piece you cut that first piece and you're like oh it's so easy and then you cut the second piece like whoa I need more oomph so there we go all right so now we have our okay get back here so now we have our hinge is, okay? Then the second thing that we're gonna do, I wanted to cut these out ahead of time, but I decided not to, um, because I'm still not sure if you guys wanna see like the entire process. Cause it really, it takes a while, but at the same time, it just, I guess it just doesn't seem like it takes that long because it just goes so much, it goes so quickly after you get the construction done, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense to you guys. So these are printed out and I'm just going to cut them out now, which is fairly simple. Now this is going to be a portrait, but I don't know which way I want to do. Oh, I know exactly which way I want to do it. So we're going to cut this off here and then we're going to cut this off here. And that's going to be our page. Um, assuming I know how to cut straight lines. Because that is not straight. Oh, it actually is straight. All right, hold on. Um, I'm just gonna trim a smidge off. See if that helps a little bit. All right. Okay.
trying to line this up because I don't think this is lined up with the edge of the paper, which is why it threw me off when I was like, oh, it's not a straight line, but it was. It just wasn't lined up with the paper. On this side. All right. So then what's going to happen is we're going to take all of these pages. They're all marked, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, as far as making them all individual pieces now. Yeah, I think I should have done this off camera. I'm not sure, but I figured we'll do like a full, like legit, you know, start to finish, you know, and do the whole thing with you guys type of deal. It's kind of what I was thinking, but I don't know. I mean, I did do the chipboard off camera though, because the chipboard, man, you got to get a lot of umph behind that your pressure whenever you're cutting chipboard on this thing. You got you gotta have a lot of oomph behind that. Okay. Alright, so we've got two more. And then you put them all together. And you can save these pieces um, until you're done with the album. Or you could save them until whenever, really. Uh, I feel like I'm missing a page. One, two, three. Oh, I guess we already cut out four, didn't we? Huh. Oh, all right. For whatever reason, I was thinking that we had only cut out. Uh, two, and that this would make three, but like I said, it seems to go by pretty quick. Once you get going, once you have all this stuff done, it seems to go by fairly quickly. All right. And no, I haven't decided what I'm doing with this book yet. I really think I'm going to keep it, honestly. Because um, I, I really enjoy albums. And I don't know how many people that, like, follow me enjoy photo albums. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut these out, too, since I'm here. These are just things that... Um, I've traced out that need trimming and they're all labeled so I mean it's not going to get all mixed up or nothing but I figured we'd go ahead and get them done All right, now some of these, I altered the size of them slightly. Like this one, let's see, so we're gonna have to go four and a half. I think is the best option with that. Okay. So I had an idea with this to do like a semi waterfall, not a complete waterfall, cause I only, I'm only gonna do two pieces, but and because I made it much smaller, I might actually be able to do more than two pieces on one of the pages. All 
All right. So we actually just got everything cut out. All right. So you kind of want to save these until like you're done with the project because you don't know if you're going to add like a banner, a tag, or, you know, something else. Who knows? Because there's some pretty decent chunks in here. Like that's a pretty good size piece right there. So we're just going to set those aside for now. And then we're going to set these aside because we don't need any of these right now. So we're going to take all of those and we're going to set them inside the book. Okay. And these are our pages. Oh, we still have cutting to do. Yep. This part's not necessarily as important to get straight because it's the flap that goes underneath. So it's okay if it's not perfectly straight. Keep looking up at the time to make sure that um, for one, we don't go too long because I know a lot of you like the shorter videos. But for two, I'm actually curious of how long it takes to construct these because I've never timed myself before. And then the last two, actually. And last. I get quiet when I'm doing stuff. I like this. I don't know why. It's like you have to concentrate on the cutting. Alright. So, that's done. Let's click off OBS so we don't accidentally turn you off. Alright. I will save the bigger pieces for now and toss them if we don't use them. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to score these on the line. And it should be about a half an inch. And I say about because she did hand draw these to make these templates so it's not always perfectly straight or you know perfectly measured or whatever but they do all line up with each other which is the important part all right. and then last is this one all right Now that that's done, um, I'm going to set that aside for now. I'm just going to fold these over. And this is a great way, too, to use up some of your cardstock and your um, scrapbook paper is to make albums like this. Because I used to make these all the time and I loved them. Which is why I have so much paper. Pretty sure I told you guys that already. But that's why I have so much paper. That and the fact I would see paper and I'd be just be like, Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'd bring it home and never do anything with it. Because, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I can't use it all. Yeah. Um, then it was just in my house forever and a day. And now I'm to the point of, okay, I need to start using some of this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Paper because uh, my house is being completely overrun. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do things a little bit different than I normally have done in the past. What's gonna happen is we're gonna take this piece that we just put the hinges on, right? Or the, the flappy doos. And then we're gonna put this piece and we're gonna put them together like that. And you're gonna have an open pocket here. And you're gonna have an open pocket here. It's gonna basically just look like, you know, you can stick your hand all the way through it type of thing. Okay. And okay, and we're just going to use Fabri-Tite because I have always used score tape in the past, but having score tape instead of Fabri-Tite makes it really hard to line these pages up. So I'm going to use Fabri-Tite. And hopefully have a much easier time lining these up because you can put it down and then you can wiggle it around is the big thing And you don't put it all the way to the edge because you don't want it to smear out the side. But yeah, that's what it's going to look like. You're going to have four of these things. Okay. So we're going to put that aside. And I'm going to wait for our fabric tape to get down here. And then yeah I definitely like the fabric type better than the score type hands down it is so much faster and easier to line these pages up And you know what else I need to do? Uh, we might do some of those to take a break from this alb or from this um, book, but I need to make bottles um, because I want to get some in the shop. And I just have so many like I need to do this, I need to do that, but I don't think you should let it really bother you. And I'm more saying that to myself, but um, I'll let it stress you out. Just do what you can do every day, and then that's it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so what is today? You're looking at. Today is Tuesday for you guys, um, so hopefully Wayne is recovering well. Um, for me, it is Sunday, I'm trying to get a little ahead on the videos, um, just because I know this week is going to be rough, um, time-wise. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to put them here, loop, loop, like a soap. Okay, so I'm gonna put the fabric tack on this side, and we're gonna put it on this side, and we're gonna open up our pocket, and we're gonna slide it right on top of that hinge. And we're going to slide it right on top of that hinge. Okay, there we go. And right where the score mark is, we want to make sure that we're putting our paper just to the edge of that, but not 
so much that it overlaps that score mark because you don't want that. You want it to be able to move freely. Okay. Let's fork it. Oop, fork it. Okay. And now we're going to do the same thing here. And again, I'm using Fabri-Tac because it is awesome. You can use, um, I think, what is it, Fabri-Fix Fabri or something like that, 3-in-1. You can use any of that stuff. You can use any glue you want to. Just know that some glues you might have to retouch up in a year or, you know, less or more or whatever. I choose the glues that I choose because they have a tendency of lasting a little bit longer. And you might still have to retouch it up, but hopefully not anytime soon. Oh, and I am liking the art glitter glue. I haven't like had a chance to really gauge the effectiveness of it because, well, I just got it a couple weeks ago. So, I mean, I don't really have anything to compare it to as far as, like, length of time, stuff like that. Alright, and then slide it on our hinge. Does it down to our and if you noticed, I'm flipping it back and forth to make sure to burnish that down so it, it can get dried both ways. It's not just drying one direction. This is the last one. Now this part here is going to get attached to the spine. Okay, so when we're done, go in there. When we're done, we're going to have it look like this. Open it up. This is there. And you've got four pages. One, two, three, and four. I think that turned out really nice. All right. So um, in the next few videos, what we're going to do is we're going to start decorating the pages. Um, and we're just going to do that one page at a time. Um, so to give you an example. So we will take one of these, put it here, and then we will take, you know, our decorations, put it here, and you know, we're just going to do one page at a time. Our decorations are not going to be the same. <laughs> They're not going to be this, but um, I still can't get over how yellow this looks. It is not yellow. It is orange. Plain as day. Uh, and it's a very pale orange at that. Anyway, um, well that looks kind of yellow too. That's orange too. So anyway, um, yeah, that's it. Um, we're going to do some decorating in the next few videos. 
and we're going to do one page at a time and then once we're done um, with our pages we can get this into here because we don't know exactly yet what I'm doing then again I could probably put this here and then decorate the pages you know one at a time like that we could do that yeah so I might do that next um, put this inside the book that might be our next video so anyway that's it for today's video so I hope you guys like today's rambling on and you know the the silent spurts but anyway uh, thank you guys so much for joining me I hope you had fun and I will see you all in the next video bye guys